Well, hello, hello, good morning, everyone. Welcome to this installment of Seven Minutes in the Morning. I almost call it Talk Radio for Entrepreneurs. That doesn't come up for a whole nother hour. What was I thinking? Hey, when you get here, do what Joe has done. <laughs> Say hi and drop a bunch of likes on the uh, on the video. That would be awesome. I would appreciate it. But then that also tells Facebook this is good stuff and it should share this with your friends. Hey, look, there's George. Hey, George, you almost, almost beat Joe this morning. But not quite. Hey, whether you are watching live or on the replay, be sure and, and do the same thing. Thumbs up, likes. And uh, if you happen to be listening on your favorite podcast, catch your iTunes, Stitcher, TuneIn, whatever, um, at some point, head over to 7minutesinthemorning.com. That gets you the right page on Facebook. Or you can leave a comment, join the conversation, ask a question. And uh, by the way, I want to go ahead and start uh, promoting this now. Friday is coming up, Free Coaching Friday. We're going to play an edition of Stump the Coach. So come up with a question that you want me to tackle that you think is going to stump me. And I will prove you wrong on Friday. All right. So today, um, the, the question that I asked um, in the title, you know, is are you afraid? And all of this is kind of coming from a uh, our quote of the day today comes from John Cage. And the quote is, I don't understand why people are afraid of new ideas. I'm afraid of the old ones. Now, think about that for a minute. And, and very likely, your immediate response, just like that, is going to be, yeah, that's right. And then you start thinking about it. Well, now, there is this. And there is that. You know, some of the the... So in my morning routine, I listen to these motivational, inspirational uh, videos. And this morning, I came across one as Peter Thiel was talking about college. I'm going to go, I'm going to throw just headlong into one of the most contentious debates going today. And that's the value of a college education. Do you need one? I don't know. I mean, on, on the one hand, you can count a whole bunch of people that have done some pretty amazing things in their lives that didn't have one. And then on the other hand, that's a pretty small group. This is more like real life. Man, I'm just not sure. Well, get sure. One of the, th one of the points that he made, right, was we're asking um, 17 and 18 year olds to make a $100,000 debt commitment toward a career that they're not even sure they want yet. Why? Because that's the right thing to do, right? So that's one of those, I'm bringing all this up, I am fairly opinionated on that topic, but the point is, that's one of those things that is an old, well-established idea that we just take for granted. The majority take for granted. Well, we're because that's the right thing to do. Okay. But is it the right thing for you to do? Right? And then we look at these new ideas. Wow, I'm, you might get a job and, and not go to school. I'm, I'm not sure that that's the right thing to do. So now all of a sudden there's fear and trepidation. Fear, right, is is your brain telling you to pay attention. And it comes from a lack of experience. I use the example all the time, a nephew, by marriage, nephew-in-law, I guess. Anyway, he joined the Army, learned how to jump out of airplanes, loves jumping out of airplanes, and now he has a job strapping other people to him to jump out of an airplane. Loves it. Greatest thing in life as far as he's concerned. Two people jump out of an airplane strapped together. One's done it thousands of times, for, you know, once or twice for the other person. One's terrified and the other one's loving life. What's the difference? experience right his experience tells him that this is fun their experience says i should be terrified right how do you gain experience he gained experience by being encouraged <laughs> out the door the first time right after the first time it was downhill from there so when we look at these new ideas and we think, man, oh no, it's kind of scary. That might not be the right thing to do. 
I, somebody had to do it first. Might as well be you, right? Because then you gain the experience, you become the leader, you become the influencer in that direction. All right, Joe said, some take a job, then they're stuck in that situation, they can't escape. Amen, brother. And look, it's one of those, it's, well, and I can't tell you, I don't, I don't have a good word to describe this, but I can't tell you how many times I've heard people say, well, it's what my degree's in. So what? So what? If you hate it, don't keep doing it. Look, no coffee today. I'm drinking out of a straw. That's a limeade. Anyway, <clears throat> there's something different. Not drinking coffee in the morning. I am drinking coffee. I, can you? Yep, yeah, there it is. Right there. Back there on the big red chair. I've already had one cup. Um, I'm alternating. Anyway, the point is, don't be afraid. Or you can be afraid, but have courage. Face your fear. Take action. Try it. What's the worst thing that could happen? In the, in the example of going to school, take a gap year. All right? Figure out what you want to do. See the world. Have some experiences so that the rest of that is not so fearful. Now, for a lot of us, we're well past going to school age. How about starting that business? How about quitting your job? Mmm. Now. But Tom, I have responsibilities. I have bills to pay. Yeah, don't we all? That, that excuse will be there until the day they put you in the ground. So don't, don't let that hold you up. Well, all right. So Joe says when you don't know, in fact, I'm going to put that one. When you don't know, fear can stop growth and satisfaction. I agree with that, and that's the role of courage. Courage is not the absence of fear. Courage is action in the presence of fear. It is impossible to demonstrate courage if you're not afraid. So I tell people this all the time. In fact, I was speaking to a group of job seekers last week, and I said, how many of you are afraid? How many of you like to have courage? Right? Remember, when you pray for courage, you're praying to be afraid. Oh, that changes things, right? But you're right. When you don't know, because you don't know the outcome, you're not, I might have read it in a book, two plus two equals four. Having those counting sticks or counting ping pong balls makes all the difference in the world, doesn't it? That's for me. I'm, an ex I'm, I'm a kinesthetic experiential learner anyway. All right. Uh, George is true, said the... Um, uh, IP lawyer, straws suck. Use fear as motivation to perform at a higher level. Like that. Well, because, and, and why is that true? I'm going to put that one up too, because that one's pretty awesome, Joe. <clears throat> why is it true? Why are you performing at a higher level? I mean, is it a, is it a safe assumption that if I am afraid, I will perform at a higher level? Right? Higher than what? Higher than my past performance, higher than those around me, certainly higher than those around me because fear is going to keep the masses back. And if you punch through that fear, look, out of all the people that went out of the airplane with my nephew that day, how many of them are still jumping? I mean, have gotten out of the army and have a job jumping out of airplanes, right? He's well ahead of the masses. So, yes, you can definitely perform at a higher level compared to others. But the challenge is to perform at a higher level against yourself. Right? If you say you want to be the best painter in town or the best plumber in town, maybe all the other plumbers in town suck. Well, okay. Well, that puts you at an advantage in town, but are you really any good? Are you better? Are you as good as you could be? Are you better than you were yesterday? Yeah, see, now, now we're talking about learning and growing beyond yourself. And that, that is what we're all about. All right. 
Look, I'm over on time again. Word. <laughs> George, we still have to get together. I've got stuff we need to talk about. All right, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. Remember, the radio show is coming up in whew, 50 minutes. i got to hustle to get out of here and get down there and, <laughs> and uh, get set up for that. You can listen to that, WTKIRadio.com. You can listen to the live stream, or you can watch it live. Actually, I think the domain is not working. I have to go check that. Talk Radio for Entrepreneurs. Just go to Facebook. You're already in Facebook. Look for Talk Radio for Entrepreneurs. That'll get you to the right page, and it'll show up here on this page, too. Uh, but join me. Uh, we'll have an interesting topic. And after that, let's see. Today is Tuesday. Yes. So, uh, uh, Brain Trust is tonight, 6 o'clock. Huntsville West. If you're interested in that, send me a message. Leave me a comment here. I'll send you a link to that. And tomorrow, brand new installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. All right. Got to wrap it up. Got to run. You guys take care. Have a terrific Tuesday. I'll talk to you tomorrow.